A very good morning from a very quiet Santander, Spain. I've just stepped off the ferry and it's Sunday morning and I've got the day here. But for the last day and a half on the ferry, I've not had any phone signal, any Wi-Fi, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do today. I haven't prepared a thing, but I'll try and squeeze a video out of it. Would you like to come with me? Let's go. I've missed these Spanish walking signals. Look at it. Lovely morning. I couldn't even remember where my hotel was or what it was called, but I've just switched on my phone. It's so good to get 4G again. And it's just 140 yards along here. So not far to go. And I'll see if I can drop off my bag because it's going to be a long day. As soon as you step off the ferry, Santander looks absolutely beautiful and I think we've got some Christmas stuff going on here. Aye, it's December at the moment, but this isn't like your normal ferry port arrival, you know? It's really nice. Puedo dejar mi bolso sí, hasta check-in en Marsh. Bag dropped, successful, but that hotel looks quite fancy. I actually thought I'd wandered into the wrong place. It's not like me to stay in a place like that. I must admit, I'm a wee bit torn about what to do today. Don't get me wrong, Santander looks beautiful and it's a lovely day, but it's a quiet Sunday. Should I just wander about aimlessly here or should I try to make a theme to this video and jump on a train somewhere, a wee village I've never heard of before, something like that. Help me decide. Oh, in fact, we've got the Estación de Autobuses just here and the railway station beyond. This could be a sign, folks. Nope, there's not much going on in there this morning. It's a very quiet place. I don't even see any trains. In fact, maybe there's replacement buses on today or something, but aye, Santander it is. That's all right, isn't it? That's not a bad thing. In fact, I've done enough traveling over the last few days. Let's start with a tunnel. Do you fancy walking through a tunnel? Of course you do. Okay, so I'm not seeing any litter or any graffiti in here. This is a bit refreshing, isn't it? It certainly seems like a grand old city, beautiful streets, beautiful buildings, but I haven't got my bearings yet. I would like to maybe try and find a Plaza Mayor or something, maybe down here. I'm 
Burger King. I don't like these modern Christmas trees. That's what we've got in Montrose as well. Although ours isn't quite that big. To me this looks like a beautiful old market building instantly recognisable, they all look like this in Spain and I'm sure there's a cracking market in there every day of the week except a Sunday and what day am I here? Of course, Sunday I just had to pop down and have a wee look at this flea market. I rarely buy anything, but I do like to look. Nah, there's not much for Christmas down there, folks. I must admit, I do feel a lot safer walking around the streets of Spain than I do almost anywhere else, especially after recent experiences, eh? I don't know what it is, maybe because I speak a wee bit of the language, but I stayed here for about a year and a half, not in Santander, but in Spain, and I never had any problems. Famous last words, eh? Now, what's down here? A grand arch, maybe that'll lead to some kind of square. Well, this looks like it would be a beautiful square, but you just can't see much of it at the moment because all the tents are up for the ice rink. Christmas, eh? Don't jump, washes. I do feel a bit aimless just wandering about the streets and I'm a wee bit tired as well so I've made a decision. If I keep walking this way I'll eventually get to the coast and I've heard that the coast is quite nice in Santander and that'll certainly freshen me up a bit. Still it's awfully nice here isn't it? Just very quiet. No, I've got distracted and I can't resist. Let's see if we can get some churros. I absolutely love these proper little Spanish cafes and they do everything so simply, yet so well. Look at this. How thick is that? Oh, this is just heaven. I've been in Spain about five minutes and already I'm having chocolate con churros. Oh, I didn't need that, but I wanted it and it was a lovely wee treat. And it was funny when I walked in and I was like, you know, do you have churros? And he was just like, hombre.
I don't have to take you to some busy places, do I? Oh, it's so nice to be down by the sea again. You would have thought I'd seen enough of it over the last couple of days. In fact, I can still see my ferry over there, and behind it there's some mountains covered in snow. I'm not sure what mountain range that is. I just wish I had time to go and have a closer look. I tell you what, this is an absolute gem of a city and it's just got me thinking, you know, everyone's just out for a nice Sunday stroll, it's so respectful, so clean. This is how cities should be, isn't it? But unfortunately it's quite rare these days. This is like a big nautical school and I love this statue, look at that. Look at all the seats, not much demand for them in December, but still it's a cool idea, isn't it? I got round here and I wasn't really paying attention, but then I just looked over there, and the only way I can describe it, in Spanish, is una vista preciosa. Oh cool, look at the street name, Calle Severiano Ballesteros. I wonder if Sevi was from Santander. Got the big maritime museum here, but it's too nice of a day to be going into museums, isn't it? There we go, there's my new house up there. Of course, when you're in Spain, you've got to go to the beach, even if it's December. And this is Playa Los Peligros, Danger Beach. I think the only danger here is that I'm going to fall in love with this place.
Oh, look, there's a wee cave up there. I could go all Steve Wallace and just stay there tonight. I've got no idea what this place is. Could be a hotel, restaurant. Very nice though. Oh yeah, I think it's a restaurant. At least that part of it is. But eating is cheating. We don't have time for that just now. Hey, interesting place this. I've stumbled into some really nice gardens and up in the hill there's a palace and I just saw a sign for Embarcadero Real, the Royal Jetty. Let's go and have a look. Wow, very nice. So this is where you arrive at your palace and I guess you don't even have to climb up these steps. Someone will carry you. Well, there's a bonus. I wasn't expecting to find a lighthouse here, and this is called El Faro de la Cerda. And I've no idea what that means. Apart from the faro bit, I think that's lighthouse. So we've got rugged coastlines, we've got mountains, we've got castles. We've even got a chilly breeze. It's just like Scotland, but on steroids. And down the other side we go. The Museum of the Man and the Sea. I made it just in time to see my ship sail away again. If you haven't seen that video, I think it's the last one.
Well, that was a nice wee walk out to the end of the peninsula, wasn't it? But I think I'll turn back now, head into town towards my hotel. I can see another lighthouse on the coast, a way off in the distance, but by the time I walk there, it'll be dark and I don't want to burn myself out. I've got a lot more recording to do on this trip, loads more to see. So yeah, just a nice relaxing afternoon, I think. But if I do see anything on the way back, of course, you'll be the first to see it as well. Already having just started my way back, I've found a train tunnel. A train tunnel which it looks like has been pedestrianised, so let's go through another tunnel. Not the first today, is it? Hey, how cool is this? It could be like one of the tunnels in Edinburgh, couldn't it? You know, the one that we went to before in a video that was all painted. That was quite cool. But this one's all natural. In fact, it's dripping quite a bit from the ceiling. Slimy walls. No, I'm not going to touch them. By my arithmetic, that means the tunnel is 349 metres long. And we're out the other side. I'm glad I found that. That was very cool, wasn't it? Almost at the hotel, just got to cut through this lovely little park and we can check in right now. I'm sure we'll be out again, but I just need to have a wee rest. But we'll go out for some food later, okay? By the way, just outside my hotel, there's this massive turntable. Please someone explain what that's for. Right, let's get checked in. I've got my bag back and my room will be ready in five minutes, but there's a cafe here and I can smell, I think it's calamaris. Oh, I really need some calamaris today. But the cafe here looks a wee bit posh for me, I think. Aye, I'll maybe find somewhere a wee bit more basic. Okay, so I'm into my room. I've been in already, but I just want to show you the view, okay? Look at that, a massive window, and we're up on the very top floor. I think it's number eight. And I've got a sea view. And a city view, actually. I am so chuffed with that. And this room, by the way, it was under 60 quid. I think it was like 57 or 58 on booking.com. It's just a shame I'm only here for one night. Lovely big bathroom as well. I can't believe how cheap this was.
A very good evening folks. Now a wee bit of hunger was probably the only thing that was going to drag me out of the hotel again tonight. So here we are on the mean streets of Santander looking for something to eat. Now, I don't really like going anywhere too fancy when I'm on my own, but that also doesn't mean we're going to end up in a McDonald's. So let's see how we get on. Well, this video clip tells you exactly how I got on and it wasn't good, I'm afraid. Believe me when I say I wandered around for about an hour and didn't find a single kitchen open for food. Places were busy, but it was only coffee and cake that was being consumed. I guess I got caught out by Spain's very strict eating rules, didn't I? I know I should have grabbed something earlier. I left the hotel tonight dazzled by the bright lights of the city, but ended up right back in my room with little more than a sad sandwich. I promise better luck in the next video, and I've half edited that one already, so I really can promise it. Thanks so much for joining me today in Santander, and I'll see you in the next one. Hasta pronto.